Balancing half equations. Um, this involves a couple of little steps. It involves four steps, actually. And I write the steps down here. And hopefully from our podcast, you know what the steps were. The first one is balance um, not H or O. Okay? So you don't balance everything that's not H and O. The second one is balance O with H2O. Third one, balance H with H plus. The fourth one, balance charge with electrons negative. So these are just four steps that you're going to follow. So here's our equation. We need to balance this. The way we're going to do that is first balance everything that's not H and O. So let's do that. We've got O here. We don't want to balance that because it's not because it is O. So we're going to balance our nitrogen here. We've got two on this side, but only one on this side. To balance that, we're going to put a two out the front there, and therefore we have a balanced nitrogen. And so this part is done. Our second one is balance oxygens with H2O. Now, where's our oxygens needed? We have six oxygens here. Two times three makes six. One here, so therefore we need to put oxygens on this side. We're going to balance them with H2O. So balance it with H2O. How many do I need? I've got six, I've got one here. I need five to make it all six balanced even. So I've got five H2Os on this side. So this step is now done. Third one, balance H with H+. plus. So... Where is the H plus needed? We've got none on this side. We've got 10 on this side. 5 times 2 makes 10. So we need 10 H pluses on this side. So I'll just move it over so you can see it a bit better. 10 H positive. Okay. So now you've got 10 H positive over this side. So now you're balanced with your hydrogens. Done. Your next last one is balance charges with electrons. Now let's look at our charges. We need to look for an overall charge and find out which side our electrons are going to be. On this side here, we've got no charge whatsoever. There's no charge on this, on our um, dinitrogen oxide, and there's no charge on this, on our water. So therefore, our overall charge, I'm going to put it uh, here, is zero. Okay, no charge. On this side, we've got ten positives and two negatives. So that means an overall charge of positive 8 on this side. To balance our charges, we need to add negatives. So we need to get a number down. We'd look for the highest number and try and make it equal to this number here. So how many negatives do I need on this side to make it balance to 0? We need 8. So we're going to go move it over again because it's getting a bit bigger. Plus 8 electrons negative. Excuse me. So therefore, we have a balanced half equation by following these four simple steps. Now, um, I know some of you are going to get annoyed because there's no states in here. So let's do that because when you go to your exam, if you don't put states in, they might deduct marks. Our ions here are always going to be aqueous or aqueous, however you want to say it. There. This guy here, it will be told to you, but this will probably be a gas. Um, and uh, water is always a liquid. So ions are always aqueous. Water is always liquid, 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 liquid. And the other thing will probably be told to you what it is going to be. So therefore, you have a balanced half equation. Um, very important. Very, very, very important to know how to do this. Um... Now, let's just say, is this oxidation or is this reduction? What And what is being oxidized? I'll just add this to you as well. Which side are the electrons on? Electrons are on the left. So therefore, it must be reduction. Because in our song, if electrons are on the right, that's oxidation. Electrons here are on the left, so therefore it must be reduction. What is being reduced? Let's have a look. 
what we need to do is assign oxidation numbers to these things. Oxidation numbers in here. Oxygen is always negative 2. Okay? It's not going to change. So oxidate. Oxygen is always negative 2. It's got three of these, so overall it's going to be negative 6. Okay? What is this nitrogen going to be? What value is this nitrogen going to have? Overall it has to be negative 1. We have negative 6 here, so this must be positive 5. So our nitrogen has an oxidation number of positive 5. Over this side, oxygen, as you know, is always negative 2. That makes this guy here, overall charge of negative 2 here, overall oxidation number, not charge, a theoretical charge, it's not charge. Overall oxidation number of oxygen here is negative 2. No charge on the whole compound, so therefore this has to be positive 2 to make it balance. Therefore, the individual of nitrogen here is positive 1. Now you can see a change in the nitrogen's oxidation number. So therefore, it's the nitrogen in NO3 negative is being reduced. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. That uh, should really. Um, if not, watch it again. If not, ask me a question. Tell me what is the issue you're having with this. Anyway, I need to get to work. So um, I'll wrap this up now. And yeah, I might do another one of these later on. But this here is it is for now. And this should give you an understanding of balancing half equations.